know how stressful it could be to to choose a certain university program. It It's a path that will pretty much determine your career, your ambitions, the friendships that you'll be making, maybe a location that you might be moving to. So whether you're going to Toronto or Vancouver, and I remember being in those shoes. I remember choosing that, that program and doing a lot of research. And I wanna share the five reasons why I decided to choose the nuclear engineering program. And here are the reasons. Um, to start off, number one, Ontario Tech offers the only undergraduate nuclear engineering program. And that's a huge bonus. That's, you're pretty much enrolling yourself in a very specialized program, a program which, which offers a wealth of knowledge that not many people in society have. So the, the fact that you're getting this knowledge and spending those four years of your life absorbing inf information that many people don't encounter much but later on in their careers is a huge bonus. It's, it's a huge advantage. Uh, the nuclear engineering program at Ontario Tech is an accredited program, meaning it, is, it passes the stringent requirements that are upheld by the CEAB, the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board. That's a huge bonus. Basically, Canada's, uh, Canada's engineering system is recognized as a world leader in terms of its education. So once you graduate from this program, you can easily do a couple of years of get a couple of years of experience in the engineering career and then uh, get your professional engineer's license. So number two, a little known fact is that the nuclear engineering program at Ontario Tech is one of the top three programs in all of North America. So you're, you're getting a very high quality education. And it, in terms of rankings, it, it ranks as one of the top tier. Number three, the advantage of specialization. Now you could go toward a more of a general program like mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. Uh, you know, mechanical having 25,000 graduates from the undergraduate in North America per year which is a very high number. The engineering only has 780 in, in North America. This gives you a big leg up in terms of getting into the industry. Once you have that specialized knowledge and also you're also developing those foundations by taking courses that mechanical engineers and electrical engineers take. So specializing in, in a subject is, is not really a disadvantage. It's a, it's a very strong advantage. You, you have a clear path. You really know which which industry to focus on and for me it really gave me a lot of confidence in terms of what i'm passionate about what change i want to make to the world and how exactly i want to contribute to this industry so having a specialization really paves a a, a clear path a path that that you can easily see a vision for so it helps you develop that vision number four i'd say is professors and staff it's a highlight of the program that many don't know, but the profs, uh, the professors that are here in, in this program are world renowned. They're, they're some of the best. Uh, some examples include um, uh, John Froats, who is the, the former chief nuclear officer at the Pickering Nuclear Plant, or Dr. Akira Tokihiro, who is the faculty dean and has experience with a small modular reactor company called New Scale Power. You have professors with a wealth of industry experience and knowledge. Uh, they not only have this theoretical knowledge, but also this, this wealth of industry knowledge that they're bringing in. And what, what this does is it really, it gives you a gauge on exactly what you're gonna encounter in this industry. And also it's a valuable source of mentorship. Having those professors as mentors in a program with a smaller size is phenomenal. It's, okay, number five is the industry itself. The nuclear industry is a very stable industry. And you're, you know, for example, during this COVID-19 pandemic, you're seeing so many industries just crashing, just coming down to their knees, like aerospace is crippled. So at this time, it's, it's not a good choice or it's not a good time to graduate from an aerospace engineering program. And when I was in high school, I did a lot of research on the stability of the nuclear industry in terms of 
uh, its longevity. And you'll see that in Ontario, the nuclear reactors provide around 60% of Ontario's electricity. And that is a considerable number. And with these refurbishments going on, you know, for example, the Darlington refurbishment, it's a $12.6 billion project pushing these reactors to, to the years 2060. So you're seeing Bruce Power, Ontario Power Generation operating these reactors to the year 2060. The, the stability of the nuclear industry is really there. At the moment, the whole world is pretty much uh, shifting towards recognizing the impacts of fossil fuel production and what nuclear power provides is, is just that, it's a solution for that problem. It's clean power, clean energy at a, at a very high capacity factor, meaning it functions all the time, not intermittently like other forms of, of energy production like solar or wind. So there are a lot of advantages. It also produces uh, medical isotopes like cobalt-60, uh, so for cancer, cancer therapy, uh, cancer detection and uh, medical uh, sterilization of medical equipment. So there are a lot of benefits. Overall, the world's changing. It's changing pretty fast. And what I recommend is do a lot of research. Make sure you do research before you jump into a university program. Uh, make sure your passions align with your your goals, your your ambitions. And don't be afraid to really develop those passions over time. You may even find uh, your passion really come about after you make that decision. And that's, that's something that happened for me. After I made that decision, my passion grew um, more and more once I saw the, the advantages of uh, this interesting technology and the way in which it can truly change the world. So uh, here's a bit of a message for you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much.